ceremony, I used, at least in my mind, I had two words that I used that stuck with me when I thought about what I wanted to talk about in the beginning. Challenge and change. So years ago, Justine and I challenged ourselves to create Vectro and do something different. We want to change without challenge, there can be no change. And I challenged you all to learn with us. And if you look around the room, I know some people, a couple of people had to leave for flights, but I've never seen a room this full. Last day, last lecture. <laughs> 5 p.m. Right? 5 p.m. Now I challenge you to continue to expect this level of education. I challenge you to think about this in the future. When you go to a conference, when you learn with Becca, when you learn anywhere, to demand this type of clinically relevant practical education, to expect this. This is the only way that we're going to continue to improve and move forward the veterinary profession, is to have educational opportunities like this. <coughs> Justine and I, we're gonna to continue to push ourselves, not only to do what we do online and create amazing education, but work on another vet girl you. sending out a survey and um, if you don't receive it within the next 24 hours, you know some emails do get lost, everyone in this room should get it. Please just email us and I can send you the direct link. We really want your feedback. Without your feedback, we don't know how to make this even better the next time we do it, so please take the moment to do that. And I thank you for being here with us. With that, we wanted to have um, our sponsors come up, Merck and Mahal. Hills Pet Nutrition, and Shepherd. So please come please up come onto on. the stage. As you guys know, I mean, there's no way we could have put this on the way we wanted to do this without their support. The paddleboat crews, the gala, the daycare, the Nickelodeon passes, all the food. I mean, we wanted to do it a very specific way when we created this conference, and we could absolutely not have done it without the support of these people right here. So please thank you. your support for the backpacks and also for the opening gala. To the Hills team for making the paddle cruise be able to happen. Otherwise, they'd all be eating ramen <laughs> in the room. And as a fellow mama, Shepherd Ab, for being able to make the daycare. Really briefly, I wanted to conclude with a couple of things. And you guys are welcome to step down because I want you guys to see this video. Okay, great. Um, I reached out to Garrett uh, back in 2012 with the idea of starting that girl. And I actually came up with the idea in 2003 because I was a C student. I was not a good student. I would have to study 15 hours when other people had to study eight hours to get a C. And um, so when I was first sitting for my ECC boards, I was going for a run, and I said, I just want to listen to my Walkman, which half of you guys don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and I want someone to teach me or read me an article at the same time. And so Garrett was actually a veterinary student while I was a senior resident at Penn. That's how I know him. But he was the most tech-savvy student that I knew who was always going around sinking the Palm Pilot, which half of you guys don't even know. <laughs> And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to partner with him. I could not have done this without his tech support. Um, when we first started, we didn't know anything about small business ownership. We had this Excel spreadsheet. You do this, you do this. We basically had to learn it on the fly. Like Derek said on the first day, people thought we were a merchandise t-shirt company and we spent tens of thousands of dollars on stupid things. <laughs> you know, trying to promote our logo, trying to uh, get our brand out there. And at first, we hit some resistance where people were like, that girl, that's completely offensive. Um, and my philosophy was, I had built this with the idea 
of Grammar Girl, my favorite podcast, um, Money Girl, one of my favorite financial podcasts, and the popularity of the term, the pop culture term girl. If I named this veterinaryceonline.com, none of you guys would be here. Right? So that's the reason why we did it. Um, it was begging colleagues to help us get off the ground. In the first year, we had reached out to several residents. Alberto was an ECC resident that helped us. He's a fellow criticalist. Um, we were paying him, I'm too embarrassed to say, not even minimum wage to help us write some of these high pass. Um, so we really relied on our resident mates to help give the webinars for really minimal fees. And we were exhibiting, and it's so difficult to exhibit, it's really costly, where we would be like, hey, are you going to NBC? Could you bring like 200 t-shirts in your backpack? <laughs> so it was you know, a really um, young company when we first started off. We ended up learning so much but it was also such a trial and tribulation. My husband Jason over there is a total minimalist and we had tens of thousands of pounds in huge delivery trucks shipped to our house for the past couple of years of t-shirts and chapstick and CPR wheels. We were lugging around all this stuff and that's when I realized veterinary medicine is relational. They should tell you on the first day of vet school not only should you not date your classmates, <laughs> but veterinary medicine is so relational. It was because of a friendship with an unnamed veterinary pharmaceutical company or a pet food company that we were able to make this, ho this whole event happen. And I just remind you that vet med is, is relational. We put in a lot of sweat equity to do this. Um, we used to record podcasts together in a hotel room not together, but, <laughs> Close your ears. but you know, we would be lecturing at NABC and exhibiting all day and be recording podcasts together uh, for a couple of hours just to try to get it off the ground. When we first started Vet Girl, we actually limited the podcast to paid subscribers. It was $99 to access the podcast. And that's when I realized as an avid podcast listener, we just had to make it free because I don't pay for podcasts. And it was also part of brand recognition, and it was trying to get that information out there. And I will say, each 10-minute podcast takes about four to five hours of work. And so it pained us to release these podcasts, but in the past two years, they've been downloaded, because of you guys, two million times in 170 countries. And Jason will tell you, my husband, that I'm a workaholic. <laughs> Jay Garrett's a workaholic. But what we really call it is work of rock, because it brings us joy. Sorry. <laughs> you guys made us grow. <laughs> Nobody even knew who we were. And that's why we went all out to put this conference up. Because this is our thank you to you guys. And with that, the video. <laughs> ourselves four or five years ago. I was tearing up too, so here it is. Volunteers, everyone in this room will be getting Vet Girl pop sockets for your phone. So make sure on your way out you get those. They're waiting to hand them out. We'll be up here if you, you know, we had uh, some questions of Neuro or the last couple lectures. We'll be up here if you have any questions. We hope you guys have a safe travel home, whether that's flight or driving. And please uh, keep in touch and check out for a week or an email for our survey. We'd love to hear from you guys in the future. So thank you. Guys thank you. Again.